Welcome to Insight. Today we are chatting with Greg Sirota, Chief Operating Officer of the San Francisco AIDS Foundation and previously the Senior Director of AIDS Lifecycle, the largest AIDS fundraiser in the world. Greg has generously agreed to share some of his experience with us. I'd like to thank you, Greg, for joining us today. Thank you. So you have just taken this step from running the largest AIDS fundraiser in the world to now be Chief Operating Officer of the San Francisco AIDS Foundation. Let's talk first about raising funds to address the AIDS crisis and now no longer such a crisis but more a, an issue of living with AIDS over the next years and attempting to eradicate the disease. And then let's talk about the administrative responsibilities that you have now assumed. So let's focus first on the event. Talk about AIDS life cycle. Oh, AIDS life cycle. Um, it's for me, um, you know, I've been involved in the ride for oh, over almost 20 years now from when I started as a cyclist and a volunteer um, and then was recruited into the job um, to be the director. So for me, it's been part of my life. It's been part of my history. It's who I am. It's um, my friends, my family, everything here in, in San Francisco and in California. And you know, for, for the ride is for um, the ride is a seven day bike ride. Um, it's a 545 mile ride from San Francisco to Los Angeles. Um, we just finished our 23rd journey down the coast, which is pretty impressive. And every year, how much money do you raise? And um, this past year, we raised um, $16.7 million, um, which, is, as, um, which is the largest um, fundraiser for AIDS in the world. And you know, we're um, one of the still existing growing um, bike rides out there. There's a lot of um, endurance events out there. There's a lot of bike rides. There's a lot of um, for different causes and different diseases, and we continue to grow year after year. So we're really proud of that, and we're proud of um, what we've done with it. We're proud of um, you know, how we've really involved the community and honored our history and our traditions of all of the years we've done it. And I was really able, when I came to this job, was able to come from the community, um, come into this position, and really be able to grow it even further. When I and the funds go to? And the funds go to uh, the San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center. Um, um, the Los Angeles Center being one of the largest LGBT centers in the world, and the um, San Francisco AIDS Foundation here being one of the largest AIDS foundations in the world. So it's two world-class organizations um, that we get to raise this money for, um, and we continue to um, do so year after year. And it really is a combination of movement building, community building, mutual support, um, and very practical uh, a very practical approach of, of developing the financial means to support these two organizations and these two communities. Absolutely. You know, the ride started as a fundraiser, but it really started to raise awareness about the disease, that, you know, AIDS wasn't going away, um, that people were still becoming infected with HIV um, years ago when people started to um, get complacent um, and better drugs started to come out and people started to live longer. Um, we found the ride to be a really um, great um, community builder and an awareness builder to let people know that we were still in this fight. So every year as we ride down the coast, we go through small towns, we go through, you know, through the entire coast of California, um, as well as you know, the people we bring from outside. We have people that come from almost every state in the union, and we have about 19 countries represented every year. So not only are we bringing awareness, the week we're riding down the coast, but we're bringing awareness to all of those people that live throughout the US and around the world and to all of their donors and the people that they're talking to as well. So, you know, we really um, started out as how do we raise awareness? How do we keep, keep telling people what we're doing? And then how do we raise money? Because really we're a fundraiser. We're a bike ride, but we're, um, we're a fundraiser. And, you know, we're raising money for direct services. Um, people are living longer, people are getting tested, people know their status, people are getting more, um, you know, healthy because of the, the money we're raising. And you get to see that direct impact, and I think that's why we've been so impactful as well. You know, there's been, um, we can see, our, our um, volunteers and our riders can see their funds at work if they visit either of the organizations because there's so many programs throughout the two organizations that um, are, 
are benefiting from the funds that they're raising. Um, so it's really great to see that direct link to services and it's not um, some obscure um, idea of where your money is going, it's going to help people directly. Now you have just taken on the, the, the challenge of being the Chief Operating Officer of the San Francisco AIDS Foundation. It's very early I days, have. so I'm going to ask <laughs> you the unfair question yes. of what do you see the challenges for this position going forward? Because the San Francisco AIDS Foundation has really undergone uh, quite a number of transformations. It's built a new center. Um, it, it, uh, it, it has services that are constantly evolving. Um, how do you see your work there uh, contributing to the strength of the San Francisco AIDS Foundation as it enters into its next decades of service? What I really see my strengths that I'm bringing to the organization now that will help move us is the fact that I can bring my experience from all of my different careers. So my work in the profit sector, my work in retail operations, my work in nonprofit event management and fundraising and bring all of that together now into helping um, the foundation be successful. Um, I couldn't be more excited about getting more involved in people. Uh, like not, you know, I've, I'm so involved in our community right now of AIDS Life Cycle. So, you know, our 25,000 some riders that have done it over the years and all of our donors and all of our participants and volunteers. And now I get to focus on the employees and I'm excited to focus on the San Francisco AIDS Foundation employees. We have over 150 employees that deliver the, the programs and services of the foundation. Plus the volunteers, plus the partners, plus, plus being yeah. able to interact with the various programs. To be able to now um, interact with all of them and bring some of the success I, I've found on AIDS Lifecycle and be able to bring some of that um, um, excitement to reality, if that makes sense, to you know, sort of help people find um, new reasons on why they do this work and help people connect um, even more to their work and also remove obstacles for them. Quite honestly, people, um, our employees in our organization that are delivering the programs and services do not have the easiest jobs out there. You know, they're constantly um, um, up against a fight on their budgets and making sure they can you know, service as many clients, you know, they have waiting lists for some of our programs, like people, people need their help. Um, and people need the, the programs and services of the foundation. And I think one thing I get to do for them is hopefully remove some of those obstacles to allow um, the operations to run smoother, to make sure they have the funds they need to do the work, that we hire the right people, um, that they have the right infrastructure and facilities and you know IT needs and everything else that goes into operating a business and making sure that's all there for them and it's really seamless that they don't feel like they're constantly up against a fight or constantly trying to figure out how they're going to deliver services to their clients and I'm excited about that. To refresh, renew, and re-energize the community aspect of the San Francisco AIDS Foundation also is a great great task for somebody who has spent the last years working on community, working on yeah. building movement support. When we, when we look at the AIDS ecosystem, it started as a movement and it will continue as a movement. It will derive its strength as a movement. Your background as a movement builder is going to be incredibly useful for the future of this, of this organization. Yeah, I'm, you know, and it's like, it, it reminded me of, you know, I'm not, I'm not the expert at delivering these programs and services to our clients and I don't want to be because we have people that are so dedicated to this work and they're so good at it. And if I can help them deliver the services that they need and I can help our clients be happier in life, be healthier, um, hopefully um, help reduce the number of new infections here in San Francisco and hopefully that spreads to other cities in the country and around the world where we actually start getting to a place where we have zero new infections and we are just taking care of the people that are positive and we're making sure they have really great healthy lives to live out their full life. Um, that's what I'm excited about. I'm excited about the direction that's going. I'm excited about the, the, um, the focus in San Francisco on getting to zero, getting to zero new infections. Um, and it's something that the AIDS Foundation is really um, a big player in and really a key um, piece of the strategy to make sure that happens. 
and I'm excited to be on the leadership team and helping and doing my one small piece out of all of the employees delivering those services to be able to help get there and to help make change. So, you know, down the road when we're talking about um, HIV and AIDS in the past tense, I know that I was part of it. And I know that even if I didn't deliver a service directly to a client, that I was part of raising that money, I was part of forming the community, and I was part of helping operate a business that ultimately helped um, get to the ultimate goal of ending HIV and AIDS. Greg Sirota, thank you so much for showing us the way as you have helped to lead fundraising through AIDS Lifecycle, as you are embarking on this new journey as the COO of San Francisco AIDS Foundation, as you strengthen the movement, and thank you so much for your insights. Thank you.